for block two, which looks like an L-shaped extrusion from the front view, the easiest thing to do is open block one. Both blocks work out of the three to one area. So modifying something you already have is going to be the easiest. Down by your taskbar, you're going to see the extrusion. It was the last thing that you did for block one. Next to that extrusion, you're going to see the sketch used to create that extrusion from the front view. If I right mouse click on that sketch and I left click on edit sketch, it will bring back the sketch. And I can modify it to make it look like an L shape and the extrusion will fall into place. There's a few different ways you could do this. You could select the line and you could select anywhere along that top vertical line, bring it down and return to make it look like the L shape. I could simply select the sketch dimension, left click, drag out, and I already have 0.5. So it's not necessary to enter that dimension. If I select the dimension again, and I drag out, and I type in 1.5, and select Enter, this is now my L shape. Now I do need to cut out this top line and the top of the right vertical line. There's a scissors in the modify. This represents the trim command. If I left click on the scissors, I can click hold and swipe through. Click hold and swipe through. And now I have, I'm left with my L shaped sketch. I'm going to select finish sketch and you'll see that the extrusion falls right into place. I'm going to hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, until I reach my yellow block again. If I select Create Sketch, and I select now, it wants me to select a certain plane to draw on top of. I'm going to draw on the top plane. I'm going to create a rectangle this time. And I'm going to select in the corner. And I'm going to select the direct middle or the 1.5. If you drop it early, you can always go back to the sketch dimension and dimension it. Once my sketch is complete, you select finish sketch. In this manner, I'm going to select Extrude again, but this time, instead of adding two, I'm going to take away by selecting my sketch, and you can see it'll start dragging down. Now, instead of trying to get accurate by dragging, you can simply type the distance, negative 0.5, select Enter, and that area of my original block one disappears. File, save as, block 002, my course files, save.